Hi everyone, welcome back. I've got some uh, Distress Ink in Pumice Stone. I thought we'd go through the um, what we're going to use today. A Crafter's Companion Wood Grain Embossing Folder, which is very old, <laughs> very, very old. A Stampin' Up uh, stencil with it like a brick effect, but a small brick. And these are the Waffle Flower A2 Layers dies, and I'm going to use one of the smaller um, rectangles in that. It was just the perfect size for what I want to do in this card today. And then I have a whole bunch of stamp sets. So I have Lawn Fawns, they're all Lawn Fawn, but I've got their Be Happy with all these peas, <laughs> which I think is funny. Uh, they're baked with love. And I've also stamped in, and coloured in with some Copic markers, all these images. And then I die cut them with a my scanning card. The Love and Breakfast stamp set. <coughs> the So Smooth The Sprinkled with Joy And those peas don't come on the tray, <laughs> by the way <laughs> And the Tim Holtz Mini Cats and Dogs um, With one of the cats, I just thought it was hysterical And it just worked so well <laughs> with what I want to do And looks just like my cat does so we're going to start off with a, a panel. I'm making a, a slimline card and this just works really well for what I'm going to create today. Um, slimlines just give you more real estate to play with and to, especially for scenery cards, they're just, I don't know, they're just so much more fun to play with, I think. So I'm not, I, I think this is probably about a, I want to say an eight by four inch card something like that so um and this front panel is the same size as the whole card so it'll be a four by eight inch piece um if that's roughly the size that i've gone for here but don't, don't worry about that slimline cards come in many 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 different sizes so do what works for you but this just worked out fine so um i've used the stencil i'm um, sorry i've taped the stem stencil can't talk down um with some washi tape at the back of it just to hold it in place while i'm uh, inking while well, I'm inking <laughs> and then I'm because it's bricks and it's got that sort of I guess geometric geometric straight line kind of shapes to them I can move it along and kind of line it up just um, sort of enough that I can get the ink on and it looks like one big piece um, so have a look at a lot of your stencils you might find that there's a lot that you can do that with I also I'm not I'm not inking it perfectly because bricks when you look at brickwork it's not natural brickwork it's not normally very like not every brick is perfectly the same <laughs> so i just think it made it look a bit cool and then with the wood grain i just went through and sort of uh, embossed a whole bunch of pieces of white cardstock um, and then just die cut the with that smallish a rectangle die a whole bunch of them but what I did do is I used use the die one like had the die go one direction on the wood grain and then the opposite direction so that my wood grain is going the same direction whether I've got tall or wide cupboards because that's what we're doing with it so and I wanted this white kitchen <laughs> that's basically what I wanted here so I also have this really thin it's about a quarter of an inch in um, diameter the um, in thickness sorry a strip of like mirror cardstock in a silver and that's going to be my work surface I guess like just to give the illusion that there's a work surface there and I used the sort of top edge of the oven just as a guide to see where to lay that piece so that it makes sense that when the oven's there the countertop top is the same height as the oven if that makes any sense or where it would be for me anyway <laughs> so like the the front edge of the counter not the back edge um so th that's kind of what i used the lines on the on the oven for and now I'm just taking a, a mark, uh, no, not a marker, a pencil, just to roughly guess where the center-ish is. 
and because I use my scanning card I actually have some um, like a like a temporary adhesive on the back of the the cut so I could sort of temporarily stick the oven there so that I could get everything else in place and now with some of my wood grain pieces I'm going to start to put my cupboards together now <laughs> Well, one of the things I did was I used one of the pieces, I actually cut in half, so that I had a half on either end um, of my, either the bottom cupboards or the top ones. Um, but in hindsight, what I should have also done, <laughs> and I only saw this once I'd done the entire card, is that I realised that my cabinets at the bottom do not have any, like, back to them. <laughs> so... So basically I have like, it's almost like my kitchen has individual cupboards just with space between them. You'll see what I mean in a minute here. So my, all my brickwork basically shows through in between all my cupboards and that's not ideally what you want in a kitchen. So, so if, if I was redoing this and I have done this before, so it's not like my, this, is, this ain't my first rodeo with a kitchen scene. Um, there are some other videos on this. But what I what I would do, what, so do what I say, not what I do. <laughs> so where you when once you've decided the height of like your countertop, so the silver piece, then I would measure down from there and across the width of the card and cut a piece of white cardstock for that. And then what I would also do for the top cupboards is I would measure the height of your cupboard at uh, the door, sorry, which will make more sense when we get to them. Um, and I would then do a strip of white cardstock across the back of that or whatever color cardstock and that way you can basically make your cupboards up on top of that white piece of cardstock and you won't have the brick showing through. So although I'm really chuffed at this card and it turned out really cute and hysterical because I thought it was so funny but uh, and I'm weird like that but <laughs> but that's what I would do for the cupboards instead. Um, they kind of look like these individual cupboards that are sat underneath the uh, the work surface and then on the wall like there's a space like there's a gap between which I don't know I mean if your kitchen looks like that great uh, mine doesn't so <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking but it still turned out really cute and I'm really chuffed with it it just it was this mad idea I had and I just thought I have to do this because it's just so funny well to me it's funny so again I'm just taking some measurements here just to find the center of the card and um, I'm going to roughly work out how and the center of one of the cupboards or one of the cupboard doors and then that way I know roughly where to actually stick the first one and then I just eyeball the rest of it same as I did on, on the ones below I just kind of eyeballed each one I put the ones on the outer edge on first so my half pieces and then the one closest to the oven and then the one in the middle I just sort of eyeballed that so it's just what I find works easier than doing full measurements across it because I don't have the patience for that so. <laughs> so this is just it works out much better for me and it's just easier to be honest and it's a rough thing it doesn't have to be perfect you know it's a handmade card and honestly by the time this is finished you won't even notice things like that because there's so much going on on this card this card is manic and I love it <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so just get in the top cupboards on so just see how I've got this gap between all of these cupboards where you can see the brickwork coming through um, don't get me wrong it's fine but <laughs> but if you want to do it so it looks more streamlined uh, yeah put some white cardstock behind it um, It'll be easier than trying to actually put little pieces between each one, which I'm not going to do. So, <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. So I decided on so because I wanted this white kitchen look. I decided on some white pearls that I have for the kitchen handles. Um, you could use little um, little other gems. You could use little heart shaped. I've got these little heart um, like clay hearts. They would look cute as well. Um, if you were doing this as like a like almost like a craft room set up then little heart handles on the doors would be really sweet and then for the top ones I'm also putting them in the center of them so that was the idea that these are those sort of more modern long covers that lift up and out rather than 
um, sort of side to side if that makes sense <laughs> like a normal one and then I'm going to start sticking all the pieces into place so the first thing to go back in is the you know or properly is the oven of course because that's one of the main biggest pieces to go in and then I'm going to start laying out where I want to put all these pieces now in the um, be happy stamp set there's I believe 13 different I'll explain the ones in the oven in a minute um, there's I think 13 different faces that you can put onto the peas which is just <laughs> mad madness so initially I started out and I did all the sort of the normal color peas um, and I used 11 of the faces and I left two off because they were like miserable faces like they're not happy faces and then of course I came up with this idea and thought right this is what I'm going to do so basically these little peas <laughs> are cooking two of their friends uh, yes I know weird sense of humor me but and you know how peas always go this weird color when when you've cooked them to way too long like when they've been in a stew so so long they go this sort of grungy greeny <laughs> olivey green color almost a brown um, so hence the color of them in the oven because they're being cooked properly <laughs> um, and it almost reminds me a little bit of the uh, <laughs> it's like a, a few scenes like from different movies like um, gremlins was one of them that made me think of this and also even the uh, what are they the worm guys in men in black or something anyway <laughs> where they're just running riot basically in this kitchen so uh <laughs> yeah and this poor cat is just sat there going okay what the hell is going on in my kitchen uh, you know can you imagine a cat i just i thought the cat made sense for this whole scene because it just looks like well my cat would probably do the same thing she'd react the same way she'd be like what is going on cats are very curious and I just thought this was hysterical so anyway <laughs> it's my weird sense of humor <laughs> so I'm sticking all these teen tiny little peas everywhere and actually when I when I went to cut these out of the the scanner cut I really wasn't sure because they've got little tiny arms I wasn't entirely sure that they were gonna cut out okay but it did it so well it was perfect um, so I was really really chuffed at that and um yeah i just used my copic markers to color all the images in first and then um yeah cut them out and then i had them all ready <laughs> to do this with and i used every p so there are 13 p's <laughs> on the scene um obviously the two on the in the oven they i stamped them direct to the tray or pan whatever you want to call it that is in the oven so that they are just directly on there so they're not anything that I've actually stuck on um, I just stamped them directly and I managed to line up the little hands they're like holding hands like oh my god we're gonna die um, <laughs> in the <laughs> in the oven while they're being cooked but you know and um, so <laughs> so those two I just stuck uh, stamped directly onto the the baking tray um, in the oven and then that whole thing cut out um, that you would have seen me um, sort of put into the into the oven so to speak and uh, yeah it was just it just came together so so well um, so that that's pretty much it the only thing that didn't fit on there um, for two reasons one is it was just too big is this smoothie maker blender that's the word um, it was just actually too big f in proportion to the rest of the stuff there so for me it, it just didn't make any sense you could easily do that as a separate you know if my if my kitchen had more height or something like that you know between the cupboards and the counter it probably would have worked better or if it was just on a table or something like that I could make it work in a different scenario so I decided to not waste it it was the only image left everything else went on to the front and I needed a sentiment so I decided to put it on the inside which is unusual because I normally like my sentiments on the outside um, of a card but I think a card like this has so much going on <laughs> that 
it's almost fun just to have the sentiment on the inside and just have the outside it's this whole mental <laughs> mad scenery that's going on um so yeah and that's my madness for today and uh yeah a good ending to the week this is kind of how my whole week has felt like like my head is just like loads of running peas running around in it i don't know why peas but you know um <laughs> So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this is giving you inspiration to try this sort of thing, um, this kind of scenery card. And slimline cards are great for this because you get more real estate. Um, five by sevens would be good as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this, guys. And I will see you back here on Monday <laughs> for another madness. Madness, I tell you. Madness. Be happy. Bye.